Introduction to Networking. Networking. Networking is a fundamental concept in the field of information technology that involves the connection of computers and other devices to share resources and information. Internet refers to the practice of connecting computers and other devices to share resources, exchange information and communicate with each other. It enables the creation of a network which is a collection of interconnected devices. In short, a network is a collection of independent computers that communicate with one another over a shared network medium. When these computers are connected, people can send emails, share links, or conduct video conferences in real time with other remote users. Internet The Internet is a system of linked networks that is worldwide in scope. The Internet facilitates data communication services such as remote login, file transfer, electronic mail, World Wide Web and news groups. Intranet With the advancement made in browser-based software for the Internet, many private organizations are implementing intranets. A intranet is a private network utilizing internet type tools, but available only within the organization. Networking devices Routers A router is a networking device that forwards data packet between computer networks. It operates at the OSI model's network layer 3 and is designed to connect multiple networks. Routers play a crucial role in directing network traffic efficiently and ensuring that data reaches its intended destination. Think of a router as a traffic cop for your internet connection. Its job is to direct data between your devices and the internet. The router makes sure that when you send or receive information, it takes the best route to get there quickly and safely. It's like the router decides which streets the data should take to reach its destination efficiently. Switches In computer networking a switch is a device that connects devices within a local area network. Its primary function is to forward a data to the specific device it is intended for within the network. Unlike a hub, which simply broadcasts data to all connected devices, a switch is more intelligent and makes decisions about where to send data based on the device's unique hardware or MAC address. In simple terms, a switch in a network is like a smart mailman for your internet. It makes sure that information goes directly to the right house, devices like a computer or phone, instead of delivering it to the whole neighborhood. It helps things move quickly and efficiently, like having a personal delivery service just for your device. Hubs in a computer network, a hub is basic network device that connects multiple devices in a local area network. Its primary function is to broadcast data to all devices connected to it. Hubs operate at the physical layer 1 of OSI model and lack the intelligence of higher level devices. 
In simple words, a hub is simple networking device that indiscriminately broadcasts data to all connected devices, lacking the efficiency and intelligence of more advanced networking devices like switches. Hubs have become less common in modern networks, with switches being the preferred choice for better performance and management. Network Interface Card NICs are commonly used to connect a PC to a network. NIC provides a physical connection between the networking cable and the computer's internal bus. USB adopters comply with plug-and-play specifications in which NICs are automatically configured without user intervention. Ethernet Ethernet is like the road system for computers, it's a way for devices like computers and printers to connect and talk to each other. Think of it as the language they use to share information, Ethernet uses cables or Wi-Fi to create this communication network, allowing devices to send and receive data, it's the technology that makes your device work together on the same network, just like roads enable cars to travel and communicate. It has two basic architectures cut through and store forward. Cut-through switches were faster because they examined only packet destination address before forwarding it to the destination. Store forward switches accept and analyze the entire packet before forwarding it to the destination. Modem A modem stands for modulator demodulator, it is a device that converts the digital signal generated by a computer into an analog signal that can travel over phone lines and vice versa. In simple terms, a modem is a device that allows computers and other devices to connect to the internet or communicate with each other over a network. Modulator When your computer wants to send data over a communication channel, like a telephone line or cable, then modem converts digital information from the computer into analog signals. Demodulator When receiving data, the modem performs the reverse process. It converts incoming analog signal back into digital data that the computer can understand. Repeaters In networking, a repeater is a device that amplifies or regenerates signal to extend the reach of a network. Its primary purpose is to overcome the limitation imposed by the signal degradation that occurs over long distances in a network. Repeaters work at the physical layer 1 of the OSI model. When data travels over a network, the strength of the signal weakens over long distances. Repeater attack this weakened signal and amplifies it make it strong again so that it can continue its journey without degradation. It's important that with the advancement of the technology, other devices like switches and routers often include built-in repeater functionality to extend the range of a network. Types of network Local area network A local area network is the most common type of network. LANs are networks that usually confine to a geographic area, such as single building or college campus. LANs can be small, linking as few as three computers used by thousands of people. Wide Area Network Wide area networks combine multiple LANs that are geographically separate. This is accomplished by connecting the different LANs using services such as dedicated leased phone line, dial-up phone lines, satellite links and data packet carrier services. Metropolitan Area Network This is a network that spans over a physical area like a city that is smaller than a WAN, but larger than a LAN. Quite often, such computer networks are owned and operated by single entities such as government bodies or large corporations. Wireless Local Area Network WLANs are much like LAN networks, except they do not require network cable to connect. 
Radio and infrared signals are used to communicate between machines. WLANs are commonly seen being used by a Wi-Fi internet connection. Thanks for watching. For more information, like, subscribe, comment and share vision of technology.